The following examples require us to use the product rule. Remember that the product rule works for when you are multiplying, especially when you are multiplying items with the same base and different exponents. It could also be the same exponent. Remember to keep the base the same and add all of the exponents. So we'll look at some simple examples here that we found in our notes. We have y to the fourth times y times y to the fifth. Now remember that when y is written by itself, the exponent there is 1. So now all we need to do is add all of the exponents. So then we have 4 plus 1 plus 5, which happens to be 10. So our answer for this first example is y to the 10th power. Now we move on to the second example. We have 3a squared times a. So the coefficient of 3a squared is 3. The coefficient of a is 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. And then we will write a, since we're going to keep the same base but change the exponent. Recall that a by itself is a to the first power. So then we add 2 plus 1 and we obtain 3. So our answer here for this the second expression is 3a to the third power. Moving on to the very next example. Again, remember, you only multiply the like bases and you add their exponents. a squared times a in this case. Well, a again is just 1, a to the first. So a then becomes a to the 2 plus 1, which is 3. b becomes a b to the 7 plus 8, which in this case is 15. So we've simplified that expression. On the next example, we will multiply the coefficients first. Negative 3 times 2 happens to be negative 6. And of course, we have an x component and a y component. Now, x to the 5th times x cubed happens to be x to the 8th because you add 5 plus 3. Now, there's only one value for y present, so we just rewrite the y there. So our answer for this expression is negative 6x to the 8th times y. Moving on to the fifth example here, we have 3x times 2x. We will multiply the coefficients again, 3 times 2, which is 6, x to the second power, since we have x to the first times x to the first, which is 1 plus 1, is 2. Moving on to the next example, the final example here, our base is 2 and our exponent is 3 plus 2, which in this case is 2 to the fifth. So we have used the product rule to simplify the given expressions.